Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. These are the colors of the seven. Uh, that's obviously the, the color spectrum there, uh, but the way that I said it was in the uh, style of a, of a song from a 2017 Primus album called The Desaturating Seven, uh, which is a story about some goblins. It was actually taken from a book that was written in 1978, uh, written and illustrated by Old Rico, called The Rainbow Goblins. And if you have not heard of this book, uh, I suggest that you do a Google, at least a Google image search of it, because uh, the art in it is just fantastic. Uh, I really like it a lot. Uh, the story of this book, it's a, it's a children's book about the seven goblins, and they go out and they uh, swing nets up in the sky and they try to catch the colors of the rainbow and keep them all for themselves. Uh, it's a very, I would say, charming little story uh, with really good illustrations, and I like it a lot. So I decided to do the original concept uh, was Les Claypool as a goblin. Uh, so I, I kind of designed this little character uh, with a, a bass guitar and the hat and glasses. And uh, it kind of evolved from there to be more a goblin that was just inspired by Les Claypool because I, I like to do kind of original characters with with a lot of backstory to them and so this is a this is a goblin who uh, I decided went and found himself some some clothes possibly stole some clothes uh, and you'll notice when I actually do get around to coloring them that I, I start adding a lot of like greens and brown like stains on them because the idea was the clothes are ill-fitting. They're too big. I tried to make the sleeves kind of like rolled up and, and bunchy. My idea is that he either would find them like in the garbage or has stolen them and runs through the swamps and, and, uh, and the woods and gets them all dirty and doesn't actually really take care of them. Uh, so goblins, in my mind, would have like very tattered clothing uh, and they really... This this guy here is really just wearing it because he's seen people wear clothes, and he figures, ah, oh, that's what that's what you do with these things, is you wear them, and, but doesn't actually need to wear them, and so he doesn't take care of them at all. And you'll notice that I'm starting to color already, uh, and I haven't finished inking, because the thing that I have left to ink is this bass guitar, and I, I have tried to draw guitars before they're possibly one of my least favorite things to try to draw uh something about just i can never get them to be shaped right um especially because i try to draw them in perspective all the time so you'd be able to see sort of the sides that have like really awkward curves and i've just I've never been able to uh to get it quite right to a way that i've been happy with it so i, I decided in this piece i'm going to be determined to get the guitar to look good, uh, which you can tell generally translates to me putting it off until last because I'm not confident that I can actually do it, so I keep putting it off. So here I am actually doing it. Uh, I'll spoil it. I am pretty happy with how it came out, but you'll see it unfold. I want to talk a little bit about the shirt, the this rainbow shirt that, that I designed. Oh, I'm taking inspiration from the Rainbow Goblins. I wanted to represent the, the rainbow color scheme in here somewhere, and so I decided to make this like oversized button-down shirt that I think ultimately ends up looking really good, and I kind of want a shirt that looks like it. But uh, it was a bit, of a, a bit of a pain to get the colors in there because I originally did all the individual stripes on the same layer is all the outlining and then it looked weird when I tried to like give it shading because the colors would be darker and the and the outline would still just be this straight black I'm still kind of playing with different styles of how to do inking uh, but you'll see it unfold I am I am being way too meticulous with how this guitar looks uh, and it, it got to the point of like every little bit I'm I, it, 
it didn't need to be as detailed as it was. And then I also had no idea what I wanted the design on it. There you can see I had this weird like blood dripping effect and I thought I don't want it's not like a metal kind of thing so I put on these extra colors of paint and then ultimately I kind of decided that looked a little bit like maybe a good design for a guitar if I had worked at it a bit more and I wanted this to kind of be like a junky again like the goblin probably found it or stole it from someone learn to play it but doesn't really take particularly good care of it so it's very worn down this is a little easter egg i put the little goblo signs in there that uh like you'd have a logo of a guitar on the inside and i doubt anyone will ever actually notice that unless they watch this particular video where i pointed it out uh and there is the very last thing i'm really happy with how that crack in the in the glasses in the lens of the glasses ended up looking uh, i ended up going in there and, and beveling it a bit a, a bit later and it looks looks nice it's a very subtle detail uh this piece is full of very subtle details that i feel like most people are just kind of not gonna notice uh so i'm pointing out all the ones i remember but uh here i'm shading the shirt as i mentioned and i do i really like how it ends up looking um but i i didn't even color the eyes because I really didn't know what I wanted the eyes to look like. There's a lot of different artistic depictions of, of goblins that I was looking at and uh, goblins from, let's see, like Dungeons and Dragons just have regular normal eyes and uh, goblins from Pathfinder, their eyes are all red. Uh, I, I kind of was thinking of that. I took more inspiration from like a Pathfinder goblin than anything else, but I didn't really want to do just straight red eyes. Um, I am, so you'll see what I end up doing here. Uh, I do end up making them red, but I end up going in with some different brush textures and uh, I, I like, I started liking doing eyes because you can make them have like a nice shine to them and give them a wet look and you can make them either look really pretty or really kind of creepy depending on just very subtle things and so they're fun to do. So I save them for last. Uh, I already made the teeth look a little bit more violent than possibly you were expecting. I think they look super neat. Uh, I'm really happy with the skin texture. I'm really happy with the, the shading of this character. Uh, I'll also point out this is eight and a half minutes long, so I put way too much detail in this picture, uh, but it, it ultimately comes out looking really good. And so I decided to uh, give this character a name, uh, and his name is Mud. Uh, I decided I would continue the uh, obscure references to Primus there. So he has found himself an acoustic bass guitar. I like to imagine he's out there playing some like slap bass. Uh, he's like some sort of bard in a D&D party, I guess. Uh, but there he is, B Mud the, the Goblin. Uh, the Goblin bard bass player guy. I uh, hope you like this one. I think this one was really cool. Um, and that's it for me. Thanks.